So at the recent Xbox showcase, Rare just revealed a new trailer for Sea of Thieves and it is pretty massive. It basically confirms that Flameheart is coming back like we all thought and also there is a massive new world event. Now they did actually tease this uh, at the start of the year with their roadmap but now we actually get to see a bit more in depth of what's coming uh, and this looks absolutely incredible. So we're going to be able to control a ton of islands, go into loads of islands which are controlled by Flameheart uh, and the Reapers. Uh, and basically going to go in and collect orbs, which are going to strengthen this kind of giant legendary warship of Flamehearts. And we get to sail it. And I think this is going to be the coolest thing they've ever added on Sea of Thieves. This looks like it has, you know, 10, 12 cannons. It's got a flaming uh, flamethrower at the front of a ship. Um, it looks absolutely exceptional. And the fact that we're going to be able to use it is really exciting. Um, I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't get anything else Uh it may sound a bit greedy, but we already knew that this was going to come out. We already knew this was coming this year. So I was kind of hoping we'd get maybe a, a kind of reveal to something else, something bigger and better maybe. But unfortunately, we didn't. But at the end of the day, this is still a really, really cool event. And I'm so happy that we're going to be able to do this. I do think this is going to be one of those. Though that is a bit weighted unfairly against kind of two-player crews. Uh, I'm not sure how many skeletons you're going to have accompanying you on the ship. I do think it's a lot, but still, if you could have kind of four, five, six players come on and, you know, load, get, get onto this ship and defend it and fight on this ship with six of you to all the skeletons, it would be amazing. But obviously, if you only had, you know, yourself as a solo player or two of you, then maybe you won't be able to kind of get as much from the experience as possible. But I'm really excited to see where they take this from a story perspective, what they do with Flameheart, because now that he's been you know, confirmed that he's returned, I want to see where he goes. Maybe he'll go to the Reaper's hideout. You know, maybe he'll go back into the skies, that big bobblehead. But it's really interesting, and I'm really excited to see where Rare take this. Um, I think this is coming out, I think it's at the J uh, July 25th. Um, so not too far, only about a month and a half away. Um, so this should be really, really exciting. And I'm going to make more videos kind of explaining this and leading up to it. I'm going to try and make more videos on it. I'm sorry I haven't been posting as much recently. I've just been a bit busy. Um, but anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed this kind of short video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.